The Legend of Zelda is one of my favorite video game series. The world of Hyrule is so beautiful and atmospheric that sometimes I wish I could just wander around without having to deal with any enemies or puzzles. If you've ever wanted a more relaxing and laid-back take on the Zelda formula, then Lil Gator Game is the perfect game for you. You play as a young gator pretending to be the hero from their favorite video game. They want their older sister to play with them, but she's too busy working on a college project. The goal of the game is to build a pretend town at the local playground so you can convince your sister to join in on the fun, but in order to do that you'll have to make a lot of new friends to help out. The game consists of wandering around the forest, looking for other kids to befriend. In order to get them to join your town, you'll have to complete a small quest such as finding a lost item or destroying targets within a time limit. Some of the quests involve helping other kids overcome their anxieties or helping a group of friends make up after a fight. All of the kids have fun, quirky personalities, and trying to befriend all of them is the highlight of the game. The only enemies in the game are cardboard cutouts scattered around the island. They can be destroyed to get scraps of paper you can use to craft new costumes or trade for items to help you on your journey. In addition to your trusty sword, you'll have access to various other weapons and tools, including ninja stars, a paint gun, and chewing gum that lets you blow a bubble and float through the air. If you've played Breath of the Wild, the controls are going to feel very familiar. You can climb on any surface, and you have a glider for reaching faraway areas. You even get a shield for sliding down hills. Lil Gator Game does a great job adapting the Zelda formula for a more relaxing, casual experience, and there are plenty of inside jokes for Zelda fans to enjoy. The game can be completed in about three hours, and it offers a complete experience without overstaying its welcome. The story manages to be nostalgic without being overly sentimental. It perfectly captures the magic of childhood and the feeling of making up games with your friends. There are some bittersweet moments about growing up and having more responsibilities, but these are balanced with reminders that it's important to connect with your inner child, no matter how old you are. The game has a cell-shaded, low-poly aesthetic with lots of pastel oranges, browns and yellows to capture the feeling of a quiet autumn day. The soundtrack is also very soothing, and I find myself listening to it when I need to unwind or as background music while I'm working. There have been a ton of cozy games released the past few years, but Lil Gator Game is easily one of the best. It's perfect for anyone looking for a short game to relax with, or for young gamers who find actual Zelda games too difficult. This is the kind of game I could see myself replaying every year just to experience the atmosphere again. I'd love to see a sequel that expands on the ideas of this game and shows us more of Lil Gator's world. It's honestly one of the best games I've played in a long time, and I can't recommend it highly enough. If you're a cozy gamer, this is a game you don't want to miss. If you've played Lil Gator Game, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of it. And be sure to subscribe for more reviews of cozy indie games and other hidden gems. Until next time, thanks for watching and don't forget to stay weird.